Hello everyone, uh, welcome to my channel Nick Lakes. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you how to validate a form from database in PHP and also how to uh, check the server side validations, uh, the server side uh, constraints in your PHP. So moving to my uh, video, I will create a form, enter username. I will assign its name to UN. I'm just copying this. Enter password. Let it be its name is PW. Then input type submit. Name equals to save. Value equals to login. And I can specify here as form method post. So whenever the uh, like your form will be submitted, it will be submitted in the form of post. So here comes my form. So I will create a database. There is a JU to a database, and in JU database, I am going to create a table name uh, login that will be having three fields id username and a password so id is int 11 username is varchar password is definitely varchar because we both need alphanumeric and passwords and id will be primary primary and the auto auto increment so save uh, after saving my table is been created so I'm just going to add some values over here I can just write here as uh, admin at the rate gmail.com and password is admin so go so in the browse button like uh, the user name is admin at the rate gmail.com and password is admin so we are going to create a logic over here so first of all we need to connect it to a database so mysql i connect localhost if your mysql i connect is a uh, you can say it's a function inbuilt function of a php localhost is a server name your root is a username and blank is the password and the fourth argument is your database name so or chai connection field so whenever the form is submitted, if I'm taken print method post, then definitely I'm going to write here it as dollar underscore post or dollar underscore request. So I am going to get its username, then email. So I need to check that whether this email is right or wrong. Uh, for example, user can put a fake email also or it should not follow uh, the proper guidelines for putting an email. So I need to check that whether my email is, uh, whether it's valid or not. So for first instance, I will be checking that is if my email, if email contains any illegal characters right for that i'm going to check here as uh, username uh, it's a username and this is a password i can say username is the email so i can write here email and here to uh, enter email So that, so that there can be not any confusion in implementing this. So here I'm going to check if email contains any illegal characters. For that, I have to put it into the filter value function. That is an inbuilt function of PHP. Then I will be putting my email and uh, there is one constant filter sanitize Sanitize underscore email. 
so this is an inbuilt function in php property of php that is being passed in the filter var with function the first function the first argument is the email which we need to verify and the second is your constant or you can say a keyword which will be checking that if email does not uh, contains the valid at the rate and dot so uh, now i'm going to create a condition that if filter pair email comma filter validate email that is also in constant so if filter email is equal to uh, email and comma filter validate email then your message will be displayed valid email address otherwise it will be displaying your message as echo email format does not write so i'm going to save this and run this there is a fee and here is admin at the rate gmail.com so i am going to put as admin gmail.com and the password is admin so if i'm going to log in here email format is not right why email format is not right because uh, like uh, we have not put any at the rate sign uh, in between so when the when the form is submitted then the condition executed and it has received em email into email variable and it has received pw into the password variable so there is a function filter var that will that is going to check that if my email uh, that is be, that has been tamed from email variable uh, does not contain any illegal characters for that a keyword a constant in is used that is filter sanitize email and in the if condition we are going to put here as filter val email and filter validate email it, it will be checking the proper email address format so if it is okay then uh, it will be displaying your message valid email address otherwise email does not write so if i'm going to write here as admin at the rate gmail.com and one uh, password is admin so in this case it is a valid email address so if you are not putting your at the rate or uh, dot sign in your email address then definitely you will be uh, like shown with some errors on your PHP file. So uh, if this condition becomes true and email is valid, then I'm going to like check from database uh, query. Select star from select star from login where username equals to email and password equals to password so uh, what does this query will define that it, it is going to check the data from login table where it will be checking that username is email whatever the user has entered in the text box whatever uh, like if i have written here as admin at the rate gmail.com so it will be checking the login table where username is admin at the rate gmail.com and password is what the user will enter so uh, by executing this query will having all the records of data like for example uh, here is only a single record exists there are multiple tables in which multiple records existed um, in which multiple records are there and to implement to search from that multiple record uh, we have created a where clause in your sql query so when this query is being executed all the data is being transferred to the result variable and I can just here like count. I can just count over here my SQL I underscore num underscore rows. And I'm going to give here as result. And if count is greater than zero, then echo log successful.
otherwise it will be a login not successful so let's check uh, over here so admin admin at the rate gmail.com one two three four five six so if i'm going to log in here uh, what does it say on line number 14 it's my sqli query and uh, my sqli query it's connect and query i think there is a mistake over here a single quote single So admin at the rate gmail.com in the email and login becomes successful. For example, like the form as it is post, uh, whenever I'm going to click on a submit button or a login button, the EM and PW will be passed to my uh, this if condition. So if the value means save is have save login button is having the name save with it. So if not empty post save whatever the value in email will email is being given by user will be transferred to email variable and whatever value uh, the password is been written by the user will be transferred to the password variable so here i am going to like uh, check my email that it does not contain illegal characters and here i am validating my email that it as it contains at the written dot symbol so then if this thing also becomes true then the next part is your query select star from login that will be checking the login table and where username equals to email whatever the emails comes from here and password equals to password so when this uh, query executed at the back end at the database all the data will be presented in the result variable so we have right now one record in a table so that particular record will be placed in the result variable and this will um, the result will always be greater than zero because if it has found that particular email and password in your database then definitely result will be having that particular record this one record right so uh, when we are going to count here the result variable with the help of mysql num rows function it will be giving us the count of uh, data like uh, or you can say the count on in which uh, our uh, username and password is matched so for example i have written here username as admin at the rate gmail.com and password is admin so when the query is executed result will contains the record of that particular row so and with the help of mysql num rows that is an inbuilt function of php i have passed result variable so whatever the result uh, how many rows will result contains right now with it will all be uh, the count will be transferred to the count variable so if it is fine if it finds username and username and password so count will always be greater than zero so if count is greater than zero then login is successful if it is not finding email and password in your table so count will always always will be zero so if count is greater than zero then login log successful we have not placed here equals to sign so count is always less than, so count is less than zero uh, count is less than one so it will be displaying login not successful so i can just uh, show you how it is going to work so admin at the rate email.com and password is admin so login successful if i'm going to write here anything so first of all the email format is not correct if i'm going to write here as proper email format then i'm going to uh, login um, but password does not match so login is not successful so in this way you can just uh, check your uh, email with the inbuilt function in inbuilt validation of filter uh, filter in php and after checking the validation that email is absolutely correct you can then check the uh, your username and password with the help with the tables in your database so this was all about checking your email and password and all about filter function Thanks for watching my video and if you does not subscribe to my channel, do subscribe to my channel for getting all the latest updates of programming tutorials.